Welcome. When I first came to the Postal Service, we were in pretty bad shape. Part of the reason was the loss of mail volume due to the changing economy and the advancement of digital communication. Part of it was because we had a regulator that held us to a bad pricing model. Part of it was because in 2006, Congress passed burdensome legislation that bloated our cost. Part of it was because we had an ineffective operating strategy and did not appropriately evolve to overcome the economic changes. However, all of it was because we never fought hard enough or smart enough to have our positions heard and reckoned with. When we published the Delivering for America plan, we established the vision and the realistic means of achieving that vision. And then we focused ferociously and constantly in communicating our vision for the future. We aim to be financially self-sustaining and to deliver reliable and affordable services. We aim to compete more effectively and to be a great place to work and have a career. We are transforming and modernizing the Postal Service to achieve these goals, and we are using our voice to assist us in their accomplishment. Let's take a look. The United States Postal Service is a public institution. We exist for the nation. We are using our voice clearly and effectively with the public and with policymakers because we have a duty to communicate about what we do and where we're heading as an organization. The Delivering for America plan provides that clear path forward. It has sharpened perspectives about the role we play and the value we deliver for the nation. In the policy arena, we champion our universal service obligation and our mandate to be financially self-sustaining. We educate and inform about our progress in improving the service we provide to every American. We advocate for our vision of the future because we have a voice and we use it. Using that voice to communicate is a key part of the Delivering for America plan. We connect people and businesses. We power the e-commerce economy. Local printers, mail service providers, transportation firms, marketers, paper companies, the small e-tailers are all part of the postal value chain. Giving a clear, powerful voice to this industry helps elevate the role we all play in supporting the nation's commerce by connecting every community and every citizen. Having a voice also means being a part of a conversation, listening, learning, persuading, talking, and understanding all perspectives. Those conversations and perspectives extend well beyond our policymakers and industry partners. The media have tremendous influence on how our story is told to the American people. And while we communicate every day about our progress, that narrative demands a powerful voice one we now use strongly. This voice is accurate, it's clear, and precise. We vigorously elevate our successes in modernizing the Postal Service and implementing the Delivering for America plan. And we listen to what's being said. We talk with our 635,000 employees to help them understand this transformation and their role in it. We share and celebrate the thousands of great things we do every day throughout the country as we deliver for the American public. We use our formidable voice to rise above the cluttered media landscape to reach every American. The Postal Service is changing and improving to better serve the American public. That's our story, and rightfully, we take pride in telling it every day. Peter, Judy, and Jeff help ensure that the Postal Service has a strong voice. Our entire leadership team is always advancing our strategies for achieving success and amplifying every milestone of progress. And we have accomplished a lot in the last three years by having robust ideas for improvement and advocating for them. Our mission is not just about delivering the mail tomorrow, but also ensuring there is a vibrant United States Postal Service for many years to come. That mission requires both vision and effective advocacy. And I want you to know that we now have both. Thank you for your part in keeping our momentum strong and for being an advocate for the Postal Service. Thank you for watching and look for more in the coming weeks.